We're going to talk about a product called Coconol. Can you talk a little bit about the source of the raw material of that product? I mean, it's not you, people can't just grow chocolate anywhere in their oh, backyard. Exactly. Right? So it's uh, it's actually exceedingly difficult to uh, grow chocolate, and, and not only that, it depends what you want to grow the chocolate for. So what happens is a lot of times is when your typical person is a, a, a cocoa farmer is growing this chocolate, is that they were growing it for like mass production of the actual chocolate, right? And so a lot of times. They'll, that's not necessarily what we're looking for, right? What we're looking for is chocolate that has high polyphenol content, high epicadin content, high number of these good substances, not necessarily the fact that you just have tons of it, right? And so with the coconut product, what's really unique about it is they have a process where they work with the cocoa farmers directly, and working with these cocoa farmers directly, um, they, you know, they can sort of own the supply chain on this and so that they can have the cocoa farmers grow proper cocoa that's meant for these activities, right? It's meant to extract the good compounds out of there and not just meant to extract tons of chocolate to be sold into, I don't know, some chocolate drink. Mm -hmm. Along the same lines, how do you maximize antioxidants uh, in that chocolate? How do you get the, the most bang for your buck, so to speak? So one of the things is uh, the Theo uh, Chocolate and Theo Innovations, who has uh, who makes this, uh, has a process, a proprietary to process using water filtration, that actually is really great for getting out these like active compounds. So, uh, without getting too technical, one of the beauty of things of what they can do is that it's most people uh, believe that the most important thing you get in the chocolate is these. Epi epicatechins, right? The catechins and the epicatechins. And specifically, the more epicatechins to catechins you have, the better you are. And using this kind of uh, their technology, uh, Theo was able to get one of the highest, and I believe it's actually the highest ratio of epicatechins to catechins of any other commercial uh, kind of chocolate extract product you can get on the market. And so that, that's the beauty of it. So you're getting tons out of this good qualities out of this, tons of these active compounds that are going to help you fight disease, help you live a healthy life, and without a lot of the sugar. Speaking on the same processes, besides working with these cocoa farmers, having that part, one of the other things is a lot of times what happens in the post-processing of, of this chocolate, you get a lot of degradation of these active compounds, right? You get a lot of like the catechins turn into other stuff and you kind of lose these qualities. And what Theo has is they have their own technology and their own platform where they can go and make sure this doesn't happen. And that's why they really have the highest levels out there of the market of the epicatechins and catechins to preventing this stuff from getting degraded.